What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle with the next episode of Empyreon. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. In the last episode, we had gone to like an iron deposit, we had basked ourselves in some irony, we had dodged the coppers, we had crashed our ship. All in all, pretty good start to the weekend. Pretty good start to the weekend. So anyways, now that the ruckus has died down a little bit, I've actually decided that I'm going to build my base around this pod right here. It's going to be legit. So basically, this thing is going to be like inside. It's kind of crashed right now. You can see that it's missing a flipper on the bottom. I don't know. Its landing gear didn't pop out properly. That's why he's lopsided. He's going to tell you it's because he is well gifted by nature. But don't listen to the ship. He's full of shit. He has no idea what he's talking about. He's just constantly bullshitting. He's like me. He never stops talking. So anyways... For right now, what we needed to do, Constructor, do you have things for me? Constructor, you do have things for me. Well, then, I love you, Constructor. I love you so much right now, Constructor. I think we're going to go with... Mm, I like my base to look a little bit rounded out. So I think it might not be a bad plan to have some kind of, like, rounding block. What is that right there? Hull, INV, inverted hull, gray. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Hull, corner gray. Okay. So that's going to be a slope. What we need... Our hull blocks, though. And so we have 50 hull blocks. I think that should be enough to get started. We also have our core... Where did our core block go? Where is my core block? Oh, dude, did I accidentally place it somewhere? Please tell me that I didn't accidentally place it somewhere. No, core block... Oh, no, it's in my side. My okay, whoo! I got scared there for a minute. I got scared. I had scaredses. I got scared for a moment that I disposed of the thing that was going to keep me alive. And I was like, damn it. Episode 2 and Splattercat's already screwing up. Going to look stupid on the internet. <laughs> This is what happens when you leave a camera on every time you play a game. You will inevitably look super stupid. There's no way around it. You might as well just accept it right now. I don't know if that's what I want right there, but it looks like it sort of rounds out this whole thing. So maybe make some of those. Just a couple of them. Like, why don't... Oh, it takes... What? It takes two of those? Oh, that's disappointing. All right, well, I want those blocks right there because I'm going to suspend my base up a little bit, I think. I think it's probably going to be a better plan for us. So I was thinking about going all the way over by the lake when we build our base because we're going to need to get oxygen from there eventually. But for right now, it's all around going to make our life easier if we just build a base next to our ship because it's the only oxygen dispenser that we have at the moment. So maybe we'll just do that. I should probably... Let's continue with the hull blocks, I guess. I think I can only make like 10 more of them, but we'll take these on out. We'll have a look and we'll see what we can accomplish. This is going to be a little bit of a construction episode, so if you're not into that, I apologize, but it's happened either way. After that construction's done, I'm probably going to queue up a whole bunch of iron ingots. It takes five, so we've got like half of 200 plus that, so it's going to take like, we can make like 15 of these. So we're actually not able to make that much. So instead, what I'm going to do is, let me count those back down real fast. There we go. All better. If you wanted to go up by increments of 10, just hold down shift and click it'll work perfectly fine I hope these videos are helping people out because there's like a very consistent set of things like you oh how many do I get out do we what's the output on this it's 10 oh that's really really good then I'm not that worried about it I thought we were only gonna get one ingot out every time we did this and I was like ooh, I think we have found the bottleneck in our production I was about to get a little bit nervous all right so we've got enough blocks right now to get started I suppose so what I'm gonna do is let's have a look here I would prefer that at the bare minimum our base run up flush. There are things, by the way, that can try and kill us. There's all kinds of hostile things on this world. I walked around for a little while when I first started playing, and I just want to let you know I got killed several times just like walking around by weird scorpion beasts and stuff. This little valley is pretty much the only safe place. After you go over those hills or like off that way or to that mountain or over these hills right here, there's also... If I remember correctly, there's like a light tower over here. Yeah, you can see it right there. I've never explored that, so I have no idea. This thing right here looks super threatening. That is the most terrifying fruit-bearing plant that I have ever seen. I don't want that anywhere near me. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Not on purpose. Fine, then. Maybe I have a problem. They don't let me go to the library anymore. I'm not allowed to use the internet at the library. We had an embarrassing episode. I got caught. The police showed up. They laughed at me. It was unfortunate. It made me very, very sad. It was not a day where my ego or my personal confidence got a boost. It was... Let's just not talk about it anymore, shall we? Let's go ahead and build ourselves a base. I think we can do that right now because I am all about the base. About the base. You cannot place this block on terrain. I can't? Well, what about you? Can I place you on terrain? Hmm. Maybe I have to have the base structure. It's possible that I have to have the base structure, although I would very much prefer it if I could place the core wherever I want it, because the core is the thing that you got to defend. So placing it always like smack dab in the center. Oh, I can attach it to my ship? 
Weird. Hmm. I'm going to put it right there. For maximum viewpoint. Obviously, it's not dangerous flying a ship. Nobody looks out the windows anyways. That's what you have computers and autopilot for. If you're like, ah, just tell it to do the thing. We'll be fine. So I can just kind of slap those onto the sides wherever I want, huh? That's kind of cool. Not going to worry about it for right now. We got other stuff to do. We have things to accomplish today. Let me turn that down right there. Turn down for what? Turn down for splatter cat. That's what. So what I need is I got to put these in here. There we go. We'll drop you in there. And then you in there. And we should now be able to build a base starter. This is a starter block for your base. Sounds good. Craft time, 35 seconds. It's going to take us a little bit of time. 35 seconds of excitement, though, for a lifetime of awesome. Can I place these on terrain? It seems like these should be allowed. I'm going to place it on this rock. That's not terrain. That's floating right there. That's float. That's not connected to bedrock. That's not in C2. You can't tell me that it's not. All right. So I guess we just got to wait 35 seconds till this thing happens. While we wait for that to happen, I'm going to whip out my gun real fast. And this gives me Alien Plasma 0R1. Okay. I assume that I need that for something. So you know what? Let's harvest it now, right now. And then there's also some aloe vera right there. Yay. And we'll go right there. You can get needles and thread out of aloe vera, too. It's kind of cool. I think you might be able to use some of these little plants around here. If you want to know what the gun does, there you go. It makes a mighty DACA because it's a 50 caliber pistol, which will unload on your enemies. Believe me when I say this thing will disrupt somebody's life patterns considerably. Let's go off to here. Is this done yet? Can I have my base? Yeah, all about the base. About the base. On camera, I'm all about the base. Okay, so we'll put this in our six slot, the mystical six slot. I think I should be able to drop this, like, just about anywhere, I hope. I don't know. It seems like it's pretty red right now. It seems like it's pretty well red, and it doesn't like what I'm doing. I know that I've placed this before, though. So, you need to flatten the terrain first. Ooh, that's not good. Well, maybe I can find flat enough terrain. This looks pretty flat over here, assuming that there's not, like, torrential monsoon season or anything. I hope our base wouldn't get flooded if I did this, but you know what? I'm going to give it a try. So we're going to be the foolish man for right now. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The splatter cat built his house upon the sand because rains don't tumble down here. You can look and you can tell there's no rain here. They probably have those weird snails too. Okay, so anyway, simple enough. You just got to right click with the drill. And so what you want to do is you want to target the location that you want it to match the altitude of. Once you do that, you drag it off one side and apparently it digs further down into the ground so that your house has a big weird trench berm thing around it. Whatever, it'll probably be fine. Everything's gonna work out here. There's nothing to worry about. I'm flattening terrain. Out here it never rains, so we don't have to worry about water getting in our boots. It's a manly song about terrain deformation and xeno terraforming or something. I don't know. You gotta make up material. When you don't have material, you got to make it up. And I should be able to bring this down to the level of this, too. We're almost out of oxygen, by the way, so that might be something we want to look after. But I'm going to flatten the hell out of this terrain first. It looked at me the wrong way, and therefore, based on the rules of manhood, I must flatten it. So let's go to this side. There it is. Oh, this is going to be such a nice little place to put my house, my bodega, where I can invite friends over for tea and crumpets and maybe some light sconage. Go out to here. Oh, I destroyed that plant. That's what it gets for being in my path. You know, you get lonely out here. Sometimes you got to drill a plant. I don't make the rules. This is using up a lot of drill charges, though, so hopefully this is a fruitful endeavor. Alright, so that's looking reasonably flat. Is that enough space to start my base? It is enough space to start my base. Well, if it's enough space to start my base, I'm going to start out by placing this on the trace. I'll probably, actually, if we could flatten that up to the edge right there, that'd be perfectly okay by me. Yay! We built a new base. It's Build-A-Base Workshop with Splattercat. Kind of like Build-A-Bear. This episode brought to you by Build-A-Bear Workshop. Go to the mall and spend a bunch of money on a bear that looks like Mal from Firefly. I would do it. I don't know what I'm bullshitting about right now. I would totally do it. So with my jetpack on, this is the core right here. You really, really, really don't want this to get blown up. If the core gets blown up, you're going to have a rough day. It's going to be a little bit iffy. We also have to expand this out, I think, by one block in each direction before I can accomplish the thing that I want to accomplish. And so let's go ahead and do that real fast. Take this around. We're going to turn it into a 4x4, four four, basically. We're going to get off-road with this plan. 
and then it should be pretty cool. I'm going to remind you that I don't play games like Minecraft or anything like that, so my building skills are going to be limited at best, so please don't make fun of me when my house is basically just like a huge square. There were two kinds of kids when I was growing up. There were the kids that could make cool stuff like spaceships with their Legos, and then there were the kids like me who were like, look, Ma, I made a rectangle, and then we got our pat on the head, and then we went back and played more Sega Genesis. I'm going to try and suspend this off the ground for right now. Because that's really what I want to do with it, is I want to take it up into the air. And then that'll make sure that we don't need to flatten the ground out much more in order to like fully you know, use the space that we have in front of us. We can place a fuel tank on our base and we can fill it with fuel packs. I don't need to do that right now, although my oxygen is looking slightly suspect. Can I jetpack up this way and like Minecraft my way up? Oh, I can. Good. I always love that about Minecraft, how you could like jump and look below yourself and place blocks. It's a little thing to some people, but to me it was a big deal, okay? There we go, two more blocks down. I don't really know how high up I want to take this, but all I know is that can you take me higher here will be answered with a resounding yes. Can you take me higher? Oh man, I can't get back up there now. Well, that's poopy. That makes me unhappy. That makes me feel crappy. And also a little bit, ah, oh. And also a little bit nappy, not like ganappy, as in like I didn't bathe properly. But more like, if you wanted to get rid of a block, I think you can just do that right there, I think. Go away, yeah. The blocks will also deform. Like, if you shoot them, it's actually kind of cool. If you shoot them with a gun, they'll get dents and stuff in them. Kind of a badass deformation mechanic that the game's playing around with. But as you can see, there was a plan when I constructed this. I had a plan, man. And so let's use it. Oh, man. Yeah, go right there. That looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. Scaffolding! Ho! That is actually, I have an aunt who used to work in the scaffolding industry, and that's what they used to call her. It's actually kind of a sad story. Very demeaning. I would highly recommend that you not use that kind of terminology on anybody that you care about, but you know. Apparently, people don't care about her, so she is now the scaffolding hoe. Don't know how she earned that name. I assume it was through virtuous action and rightful living. Let's go back this way with our gun. Did you say something? What the hell is that? Hold on. Hey, you. You there, vicious looking wang slug. Are you friendly? I come in peace. Answer me now in my native language or be blasted into pieces because I misunderstand you and think you're going to try and kill me. He doesn't appear to be bothering me. I don't know. He looks okay. He's a little twitchy. I think we might need to give him less caffeine or something. Otherwise, he might not. Oh, no. Oh, shit. That's not good. Run away. You have been bitten and you are poisoned. Use an antidote or a large med kit. Oh, balls. Yeah! That's how we do it right there. That's how we invade new planets. You gotta get starship troopers on this thing sometimes. I don't deal with big bad bugs. I put them in a rug. Because I'm a thug. Well, mostly most of a lug. But you know what I mean. Please give me a hug. I'm just gonna keep rhyming as far as I can. I was gonna involve the- Oh man, there's more of them. Ow. You have been bitten and now my heart is beating very, very fast. Hmm. This might be problematic. To the escape pod. We're all out of stamina, though, so I have to walk slowly. To the escape pod that actually won't allow... Can it, it wouldn't be called an escape pod anymore. If it no longer escapes, if it can no longer accomplish that verb, can we call it an escape pod anymore? Or we just call it the pod? I mean, it's, it doesn't seem like it's ready to get us out of here or anything. More oxygen for my face holes. Oxygen, oxygen station? Oh, no. It's empty. Refill my oxygen. Put it in my tank. Yeah. You have to the tank. The yeah at the end is part of the song. You get the yeah. I think we have antidote pills in here somewhere. So now that I know that that thing can bite me and inflict serious harm on my antibodies. <sighs> that was that was a sigh right there. That was the sigh of a satisfied man. Give me whatever is in those pills right there. Apparently they learned to make pills out of it. And so if it makes you sigh like that, I got to figure it's somewhat enjoyable. I'm probably going to need some ramps. So... Let's make, like, meh, a couple of those. I don't know how many we get out, but I assume it's probably going to be, like, one. So, yeah, since we only get one of those out, can I do anything with raw meat? What do I do with these? That right there is an alien part. It's got O2 content. It's a generic alien parts. Apparently, it's plural. Oh, there's two of them. That's why it's pluralized. we got to wait for this to happen, and then I've got to basically make a way for myself to get up into my base, and there's just going to be a big hole in the bottom. Since I don't have to worry about people attacking my base because we're not on the internet yet, when the game comes out, I'm going to try and build a better base, but for right now, eh, not a big concern. 
not going to play around with it much. This is sort of like my preliminary period in game where I'm able to play like a noob and not worry about bad things happening. We probably need a few more of these, so let's maybe make like a hundred more of those so that I have more things to play around with. Once I have more of those, I would figure we should probably, it's going to drop those in the inventory. I'm probably going to need, it's going to give us a hundred and it takes two to make a whole block. So I'd say like 25 more of these maybe. Stop that for a second and stop that from happening. And then maybe like 10 more of these possibly. I like clicking them. Don't People are always like, why do you click stuff so much? You can shift click that. And I'd be like, don't worry about it. It's fine. I should probably also make a cut. What is a ramp top versus a ramp bottom? If you wanted to make like a really, really long ramp that just kept going forever, you would connect those maybe? Hmm. We'll figure it out later. This is not, eh, not a concern right now. We're approaching, you know, kind of like blind territory for me after I get the base built. I know how to make vehicles and I know how to make spaceships. So there's still stuff for us to do before I completely tap out on my knowledge. But while we wait for this to process and become a thing, we should probably go over here and let's not do that. But I need to eat some food. I have emergency rat ions over here. I don't know why a rat ion is useful. If you got rat ions, you should probably find some cat ions, but you'll be okay. I'm going to throw these up into here. Y'all gonna make me feed my face up in you. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Well, good for you, man. Look at you being an overachiever right now. In the world of rations, you are a gentleman and a scholar, and I appreciate your endeavors. So how much oxygen? Oh, shit. We're almost out of oxygen. Well, that's not pleasurable. I think I can still refill from right there, though. I'm not exactly sure how the oxygen works. This is one of those things with which I'm not fully acquainted. I think it actually dispenses oxygen so long as the tank is in there, so I may have wasted some of our oxygen. Luckily, I know how to make an oxygen dispenser, so we should be able to eke out a living here somewhere. Still, as soon as these blocks are finished, we're going to go back and build our base because I want... It just says new. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Ah, well, we can't continue construction until I get up a little bit higher off the ground. So staring at our constructor for a minute seems like it's going to be boring. I'm going to take a break, come back once the construction's done. Construction accomplished! Alright, so our construction is all done. As you could tell by the thematic construction accomplished song that I just sang you, it was a gift from me to you. Please accept. Secret Santa, his name is Splattercat. I'll probably ignore all the plants on this planet really sort of just look alarming. I don't want to mess with any of them. They're all very phallic. I think that's the thing that really sort of just makes me a tad nervous. I feel like I'm about to be invaded any moment. There's also appears to be something built over there. Now, every single planet, if you press M, every single planet has like a map that you can wander on around. Like, no joke, there is stuff all over the place in this game, and you can sort of just like wander around and find, you know, there's a Prometheum deposit. Iron, copper, the wreck that we're looking at is probably over here somewhere. He's like, I'm not a wreck. I feel like I really emotionally have got myself together right now. I mean, physically, you're a wreck, man. Stop talking, though. You're eating up the episodes. Like, all right, just stay over here on the corner. Don't worry about it. Feel free to come loot me later. And I'm like, I will. I'm going to get all up inside of you, ship. It is going to be an experience for everybody involved. Did I forget some of my bricks? Where did all my bricks go? I was going to say, I thought I had more bricks than this. I need whole blocks. I need my ramps. And then I also need... I wanted to play around with the oxygen generator because I realized we only have one oxygen tank left. And so it seemed like a pretty good plan. So do I have to run pipes to this thing? Or, like, how does this work? Like, let's say that I place it in the agua right here. Hmm. Is there room for pipes on it anywhere? It looks like there's, like, some kind of nozzle hole on one side. I'll play around with this in just a minute. We're not going to place that right now. I'm going to I'm gonna wait till after the episode, and I'm going to fiddle with it. I'm going to fiddle with it and figure out exactly how I'm supposed to do that. Because we only have one, and it's actually kind of expensive to craft, so I don't want to, like... I don't want that to be where you've put it right there. I want it to face a different direction. Sure, why not? Let's make it face this way then. Why not? There's our first ramp so that we can get up here. And what I wanted to do with all this is maybe... I don't know, put that down like right there. And then we place a block right there. Got a block right there. And this is actually going to encase our core just in case. You know, this is going to be like long term i think that should be enough to get us up to the next floor though depending on how we want to play this and how steep we want this to be why is the facing all weird so i got it sorted i had to re-keybind it actually it's like in a weird location you got to use insert delete home and page up and page down to rotate along the x y and z axis i rebound it so that it was on my 
up, down, left, right pad keys, and then when I wanted to invert along the z-axis, I would use shift left, shift right. So it should be fine now. I do like the fact that it gives you the freedom to rotate on all of those different axes. It's a nice thing for them to do. It gives you a little bit of creative freedom that you otherwise might not have had. Still, it's a little bit dark right now. I set up the work light, but it appears to just like flood one area with light. And that's pretty much it. I do wish that I could keep my flashlight out while I did this, but I don't think it's going to be a problem long term. I think we should be able to get up and out of here pretty shortly. This is more than likely going to be a tad weird, and so... Eh. I think I may need that to go over there, but let me take a look at it real fast. I'm bad at building stuff, I told you guys. I told you guys already that I am really, really bad at this. So if I wanted this to go right here... There it is, so we'll rotate that to right there. We're almost actually at the level we need to be, so this could be suitable. I don't know, we'll see what's going on here, said the guy in the spaceman suit because it was sort of punny. I think that I'll probably, to destroy the block by the way, I don't know, I just shot it with my gun like five times. Eventually I got mad at it and was like, you know what, I'm just going to shoot the shit out of you until I get what I want. So there it is right there, we go up our, if I could see my ramp, where's my ramp? There it is, in the darkness, you can see no evil. So we'll go up our ramp real fast, that's going to put us to right here, and I think if I double up on ramps right here, we should be able to make it up to the next layer. Put you in right there, go to number five, I think I need to rotate you like so, nope, that's not what I needed. Eventually, I will get this down. There we go. And then I put that one right there as well. And now we're on the top floor. Cool, 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 cool. So what I'd like to do at this point is I'm actually just going to leave this the way that it is. And while we're up here, I don't know if this game takes... Oh, shit. Yeah, I just fell on my ass off the side of a building like an idiot. So I don't know if the building takes structural soundness and like load bearing into consideration here. If it does, I am totally screwed because an engineer, I am not... I took like, I don't like how it does that sometimes, it double places blocks every now and again, and yeah, it did it right there, it double places blocks, I think the block is too, or I'm sorry, the, I think the block click is, they've left it sort of like a paint key or something, and I don't know how to toggle that off, but I need to find it somewhere in the options, because this actually happens to me more than I'd like to admit, where it double places a block, and then I end up having to break it on down. For right now, we don't have the repair tool. Actually, when they patched this morning, you used to be able to get your blocks back with the drill. I think you need, like, the repair tool now, and unfortunately, we don't have that one. So, I may just have to be violent to my blocks to get them to go away. Block! Hmm. What a wonderful use of my firearm. There. Taken care of. No more. I actually find that to be weirdly cathartic. It's fun to shoot something that's been misplaced until it stops being misplaced anymore. Although I did dent that block pretty badly. It'll probably be fine. Don't worry about it. Like, you have to click very, very lightly in this game. Otherwise, it'll double place blocks and then that gets a little bit gnarly. I think we got that right there. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Like it. Love it. Could not place a block better. Square base is almost done. Square base 1.0, because only the squares go there, and that block is placed improperly, unfortunately, due to the weird cursor. Trying to get that just right, but we're going to have to destroy another one once we're up and in here. But you know what? It's going decently well. We only have one oxygen tank left, though, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it off right here, and I'm going to look into the possibility of how I use this oxygen generator to make my life easier, because you know what? I like oxygen. It is one of my major vices in life. And vices can be super nice if you have them. And so anyways, I'm going to work on that for a minute. I'll see you all in a minute. Hi, do, everybody.